1975 D. Jefferson Nickel. Although circulated and slightly worn, it fetched a significant sum at heritage auctions. What makes this scratched 5 cent piece so valuable is that it comes with mint error known as misplaced mint mark. Even without close inspection, a trained eye can spot that the mint mark D, which stands for the Denver Mint, is not in its proper position. Coin shows weak strike and Monticello steps are almost totally flat. This error nickel ended up selling for $1,080. Number 7. 1959 Washington Quarter struck on a 5 cent, nickel, planchet. Graded as MS66 by PCGS. It is a coin variety that resulted from an error during the minting process. In numismatics, this type of error is often referred to as a wrong planchet error. Instead of being struck on a standard quarter planchet, which is composed of a copper nickel alloy, this particular coin was struck on a planchet intended for a 5 cent, nickel, coin. Nickels have a different composition, typically consisting of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The nickel planchet is smaller and lighter than the quarter planchet, so a quarter struck on a nickel planchet exhibits a smaller diameter and lighter weight than a normal quarter, and some lettering are not fully struck, in this case date and liberty on obverse and states of America and quarter dollar on reverse. It was sold for $1,560. Number 6. 1968 S. Kennedy half dollar struck on an elliptical planchet. Graded as PR66 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a standard silver clad half dollar weighs 11.50 grams. An elliptical clip mint error originates when the planchet strip fails to advance sufficiently between blows from the planchet cutter. Such underweight out of round planchets are typically screened out by riddlers at the mint, but that was not the case for the present piece. It is oval shaped, and shows reading between 5 and 11 o'clock, where it was struck flush with the collar die. The date and mint mark are complete and bold. Erty is absent, as is all of dollar and most of America. It ended up selling for $2,520. Number 5. 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a cent planchet. Graded as PR66 red by PCGS. It is not often that a Jefferson Nickel can be called full red, but that is the case with this exemplary off-metal proof mint error. Struck flush against the collar die at 11 o'clock. The legends are complete, but the date, mint mark, Liberty, and E Pluribus Unum have a stretched appearance from unrestrained outward expansion. About half of each border lacks a rim, though an unusually broad railroad rim is present near Trust. It was sold for $2,640. Number 4. 1943 Lincoln Cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. The strike is almost perfectly centered on the planchet, and the border legends are mostly visible just slightly weak in areas. Strike weakness affects the O and 1 in the lapels of Lincoln's jacket. Luster remains in the fields, and only slight high point friction is evident on the devices. An attractive example of this war era mint error. It was sold for $3,840. Number 3. 2018 P. Roosevelt dime struck on a 98% iron planchet. Graded as MS61 by PCGS. A typical clad dime weighs 2.27 grams. A predominantly steel planchet, likely made for coinage in an unknown foreign country, was struck between Roosevelt dime dies. Customary for an undersized planchet, the strike is mushy at the borders and centers. Nonetheless, Roosevelt's profile is bold. The surfaces are predominantly gray but display peripheral walnut brown shades. It was sold for $3,360. Number 2. 1969 Lincoln Cent struck on a clad dime blank and with early brockage obverse on reverse. Graded as MS65 by PCGS. This remarkable double mint error has a full brockage reverse and is struck on an off-metal planchet. The story of this coin begins with a different Lincoln Cent adhering to the reverse die after its strike. That coin then served as a surrogate reverse die to the present off-metal coin, which was struck between the tilted obverse die and the obverse of the previously struck coin. It was sold for $4,920. Number 1. 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a 90% silver planchet. A rare transitional alloy error. A 90% silver Roosevelt dime has a statutory weight of 2.5 grams. 
During the enormous minages of dimes in both 1964 and 1965, the U.S. Mint attempted to segregate the silver and clad planchets such that the former was delivered to 1964 dated dies, and the latter was coined by 1965 dated dies. The segregation was largely successful, but 1964 dimes exist on clad planchets, and 1965 dimes are known on silver planchets. This is an unmarked and satiny example with light lilac toning. States of America is incompletely brought up, likely due to a slightly convex reverse die. It was sold for $13,200. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of numismatics. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and leave us a comment with your thoughts or any rare coins you've discovered. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, may your pockets be filled with rare treasures and your curiosity never run dry. Happy collecting!